Okay, so mandatory mini camp for the New York Jets. And I know many of you might be sitting at home saying, so what? And I say, so what this? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. Because we're all talking about everybody else in the American Football Conference, and rightfully so. The Buffalo Bills are Super Bowl favorites. The Miami Dolphins have totally retooled on offense now with Tyreek Hill there and the coach. To a T. To and on is 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 everywhere. Hashtag to and on is everywhere now. Everywhere. Okay? The Patriots are the Patriots. I said earlier to start of the show, the Steelers are the most overlooked team in the AFC North because we're all talking about the Sean Watson and his small massage towels and we're talking about Joey Burrow and the defending champion AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals and we're talking about Lamar Jackson and the Ravens and we're talking about the Tennessee Titans and we're talking about even the Jacksonville Jaguars more the Colts have Matt Ryan the AFC West is the deepest division maybe in the history of uh, deep divisions what about the New York Jets what about them they got Sauce Gardner they got Garrett Wilson. They got Jermaine Johnson the second. Then they got Brees Hall. And then, and then, they got on the field this week. And they're seeing Zach Wilson look improved, playing fast, playing smart. This is head coach Robert Sala about the New York Jets quarterback year two. Obviously, it's well documented. He had a rough rookie year. I mean, we all did. Uh, I did, including myself. So, um, you know, just just in terms of growing, this people are forgetting that he's got a young offensive supporting cast. His receivers are young. His backs are young. The old line is just gelling together. Um, he's young. Um, and so, so for Zach, really, it's just to continue to progress and becoming the starter that uh, a starting quarterback and and moving in the direction that we're all we all know that he's capable of. Um, he doesn't need to be Tom Brady this year. He doesn't need to be. Now, if he ends up being that, that's awesome. But that's not the expectation for him. The expectation is for him to continue to climb that mountain that that's that's quarterback play in this league. I think Zach's ceiling uh, is exactly what I think he thinks his ceiling is, which is no limit to what, what we think he's capable of, and I, and I mean that genuinely. Um, to try to blow through the ceiling without really being a master of the one-on-one aspect of football is unfair Not to, is unfair to himself. And uh, um, to continue taking those steps uh, for him, yeah, he's a competitor. He wants explosive plays. He wants, he wants to, like you said, he wants to be the best quarterback in the league day one, which we all want to be the best at what we do. Um, but it's not about, for him, it's not about being the best today. It's about being your best today. And whatever your best is today, trust that it's good enough and that you'll be con- uh, you can grow into whatever your best, your maximum, your, 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 whatever you are to maximize. And, um, and, and I do, I, I believe it's going to be special. But it's just got to continue growing. Coach has graduated from play boring <laughs> to a lot more of... A, what would I say, much more rosy outlook there. That's better than play boring. Remember last year's play boring? My God, just get rid of the football. My God, just, just, just get it out. Don't turn it over. He sounded like my fourth grade teacher, Mr. Robinson, who used to tell us every morning, good, better, best, never let it rest. Oh. Until your good gets better. And your better gets best. Oh my That's goodness. what that sounded like. You sure it wasn't Dr. Seuss? <laughs> no, well, I mean, he may have stole it, jacked it from Dr. Seuss. But, the cat you know. with the cat. You know, that's what we were told every every fox. morning. That's what he sounded like. That's a cat in the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say this. What did I say? Reverse. I think you said hat in the cat. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Which is possible. A cat could eat a hat. Yeah. But that's just so, weird. Yeah. I get it. Uh, but look, man. Your last year was play boring. Be like Mike White. <laughs> That's a difference between be the Michael Jordan in cleats that now is in Cleveland for different reasons. But let me just say this. The ceiling everybody keeps saying is Mahomes. And I get what Robert Sala is saying is get down the nuts and bolts you get the nuts and bolts down that's when you can take chances and rely on your instincts and rely on your physical gifts everybody's sleeping on the jets I heard, zach, on I heard zach put on some weight this sleep this year, rich. everybody keeps sleeping on him i'm talking myself into this too i need a few more weeks to go 
What exactly are you talking yourself I'm, into? I'm, I'm, I can't even talk myself into uh, expressing what I'm talking myself into just yet. But he's right. The coach is saying they're young. Dude, they're young. They're young. Yeah. And they are young and good. They're young and talented. They're not just throwing darts at a board. They're making smart plays in the draft, and they're making smart plays in the free agency market from the tight end position, offensive line. Your draft was so amazing. It was. They're young. And if they can gel, oh, boy, it can last a good long while. And I like the coach. I like the general manager. Flight 2022 is taking off. (laughs) Oh, baby. All right, I got to stop. <laughs> yeah, Rich, I heard, <laughs> baby Zach, steps. I heard Zach hit the weight room, put on some extra yeah, pounds baby. just to get himself ready yeah, for the man. season. And, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You're not in Utah anymore. You're in New York in City. New York City. Yeah. Yes, sir.